Hello friends now in this video i am going to explain about guidance on preparation of powerpoint presentation as well as how to prepare the presentation along with presenting the topic let us start now the first thing which we need to consider while giving presentation is that we have to select as much as information related to our topic then we have to add all the related points to our topic in the slides whatever the slide which you are preparing maintain similar type of font size font style and as well as make sure that your headings are bold and as well as whatever the body which you are maintaining of the presentation you maintain similar type of styles and as well as font size now you make sure that you add limited points in the slide don't clump everything into the slide okay and while adding pictures in the slide make sure that your pictures are very clear and related to the topic and also it should be easy to see and wherever you have choices from whatever the sides you just make sure to add the reference in the last now moving on to the next crucial step this is nothing but reading the prepared slides thoroughly and make sure that you remember which slide can be next like for example most of them lack in this step why because they prepare the slides very clearly but they do not read it that's the reason they cannot present it properly so make sure that you read the slides thoroughly before going for the presentation and also note that slide should be related to the information which you have provided okay and it should be in the exact correct order linking to each other like we do not arrange properly which will affect the way of presentation okay if one slide whatever the preceding slide is there if it is connecting to the present slide it will be more better coming on to the format of presenting a topic first thing we need to follow is that we have to do the self introduction now starting with self introduction why this is that now for example if unknown person is there to whom you are presenting he doesn't know about yourself so make sure that you self introduce yourself before the start of the presentation and also like the next point which is very important is that we have to do the brainstorming or mind mapping session in order to lead to the topic that is whatever the topic you take add some related point the background knowledge in order to make sure that to know how much the audience know about the topic okay with this what happens there will be activeness in the audience as well as you will brainstorm and you will deduce the topic name and then start some of the introductory points to the topic and after that after introduction we are going to start the topic that is the main knowledge about the topic like if you are dealing with some of the topic which are related having types procedures anything which you can add there and also the body of presentation should comprise related explanation about the topic see just don't read the slides you explain whatever is there in the topic like whatever the information which you have added in your slides then make sure the final part after the body should be the conclusion the conclusion should be done by questioning about the topic to check how much they have understood okay with this step what happens if there is a proper conclusion that will be the plus point to the presentation then going on to the next thing which you need to remember while presenting a topic is that while presenting about a topic always face towards the audience most of them out of fear they do not face the audience that will be a drawback okay so make sure that you face towards the audience and also introduce the topic very clearly 
by brainstorming and mind mapping as i have already told you about this and also talk about the points which will relate your topic with the previous background knowledge and also maintain your voice in such a way that it will be audible to the audience maintain audible pitch okay and then try to grab the attention of the audience by trying to engage them by questioning okay then moving on to the next one that is go to the actual topic try to give complete explanation about the topic and also try to explain any of the term which is there in the slide okay then at the last try to conclude the topic by giving a brief knowledge of the concept and also try to test the audience by questioning and analyzing them with this we will get to know how much they have understood and also how your performance was during the presentation if they are able to answer it means that they have been very attentive to your presentation or else they may not understand what you have explained okay then coming on to the next one let us understand what are the don'ts that is nothing but what the things which we need not apply during the presentation that is nothing but which you shouldn't follow while presentation is being done okay so first thing here you need to remember that you have to avoid physical gestures like if you are very much afraid while giving the presentation your nervousness will reflect so you shouldn't reflect any of the fear or nervousness in your facial expressions okay avoid physical gestures like reflecting fear or nervousness or anger or any of the mood swings and also never show your back to the audience make sure that you use your right hand to write on the board and also use your left hand to clean the board while facing to the audience okay do not play by holding objects in your hand while presenting any of the topic okay make sure that don't stammer if you are done with your words you just stop there itself and continue the next point do not stammer while explaining during the presentation and also do not just read the slide make sure that you try to explain the content in your words if you are effectively following all these points and steps you will effectively present a topic